Hey folks, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Toontastic 3D on an Android device. So let's go ahead and open the app. Now, one of the neat things about Toontastic 3D is that if your students don't have any ideas about what they would like to create, they can go over here to this idea lab in the left-hand corner. And when this opens, they'll find a bunch of little stories that they can watch to kind of give them some ideas. And then, you know, they can scroll down and see others. We hit the home button on the back. Now we want to make our own story. So let's tap the big plus in the middle. And here we can do a short story, a classic story that has five parts, or a science report type of story. Let's do a short story. And one of the things I really like about this app is that students kind of see the arc of the story and how they should put their story together. So let's start with the beginning. The beginning, where you introduce the characters and the setting of your story. All right, so we can pick any number of settings or we can go in and draw our own setting. Right, so we have a blank, blank canvas here that we can work on if we want to draw our own. But I'm going to go back and use one of the templates because I'm not a great artist. So let's do the high school background setting. And now we can pick a character or characters to add into the story. Let's use Josh. That's the Josh character. I've added him twice because I tapped him twice. All right now I can go and I can edit what one of the Josh's looks like. It so it changes. Oh, I can turn him into the Incredible Hulk. We'll call him the Hulk. So I now have my two characters there, and we're ready to move on to the next part. And when I press the start button, it will record everything, including me moving these characters on the screen. So if I don't want to record myself moving the characters, uh, I'll just start by moving them into place first, and then I'll hit the start button and record afterwards. One day, Josh got very angry while he was in his math class, and he became a green hulk. Rawr. Now we can go and we'll choose the music to go. There's our next part of the story. Let's create a middle. The middle, where something happens like a problem. And now we'll repeat the process. We can use the same setting. We can use the same characters again. And we can record more of it. Now notice that this scene has more to it than what we initially saw on the screen. So we can move them into place and we can say something like, Scary Josh, chase the teacher away. And we can play back that story. And we can use our music. And now we'll move on and we'll record the third part of the story. The end, where your story wraps up. And again, I'll use the same setting, same character. I'm going to that character. 
character. So we'll try one more time. We'll put in some new characters here. There we go. And suddenly, the Hulk sister appeared. And we can use different music and record. All right, so we've put together our story. Let's go ahead and finish it. Now you can always go back and edit this and we'll just call it the Hulk goes to class. And now it'll save onto my device. If I'm happy with it, it saves to my device. And once it's on my device, I can export it or I can share it to a number of social media platforms. So that's how you can create your story using Fantastic 3D on an Android device. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.